So American NFL star Colin uh, Kaepernick, or Kaepernick, it might be pronounced, plays for the San Francisco 49ers. He's the quarterback, and he's made a, a pretty powerful, whether you agree or disagree with it, statement of recent times. Well, actually, it's powerful in America. If it happened in New Zealand, there probably wouldn't be too much of a kerfuffle about this. There was an NFL preseason game recently, and he refused to stand for the national anthem. Uh, someone took a photo of it from the from the stands. That then blew up, and a journalist wrote an article, and now the whole of America seems to be talking about it. So he was approached as to ask why he didn't stand during the national anthem. This is what he said. I am not going to stand up to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of colour. To me, this is bigger than football, and it would be selfish on my part to look the other way. There are bodies in the street and people getting paid leave and getting away with murder. What he's talking about, Dean, uh, primarily is the Black Lives Matter, Ma Matter movement, yep. and he's talking about the violence that is being uh, seen by many yep. against uh, the black community by police officers, yep. and his protest was not to honour the flag as a way of showing that. Yep, well, I, and I can understand his point. I mean, you've only got a little statistics. Since President Obama promised to clean up uh, <laughs> crime in the US, I mean, the gun shootings are just out of, out of control, and it's what really upsets me is White, white policemen dragging African American youths out of cars and shooting them, um, either dead or, or wounding them um, badly, um, and no one seems to be doing anything about it. So I've got a bit of sympathy with, with this guy. Um, and the worst part to me today was NFL players getting up and saying he's not black. He shouldn't be protesting because he's not black. Yeah. Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, that, that's possibly the most, I hadn't heard that, that's probably yeah. the most ignorant thing, I think. That's like saying, if you're not disabled, you can't fight for disabled rights, or yeah. if you're not gay, you can't fight for LGBT yeah. rights. That's a, a, a ridiculous thing to say. The other thing that's come from this, uh, this situation in the last day or so is Donald Trump. Now, I find this kind of hilarious, and I'll tell, a lot about Donald Trump I find hilarious, yeah. but this one is particularly hilarious, and I'll tell you why. This is what he said. He said this quote, I think it's a terrible thing, speaking of him not standing up. And you know, maybe he should find a country that works better for him. Let him try, it won't happen. See, the thing that Donald Trump is missing is America is the country for this. America, and especially the American right, which Donald Trump represents, always stands up and they say, freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Mm. This guy has freedom of expression, whether you agree or not, and even though he didn't say anything, it's mm. a freedom of speech issue, and everyone's saying, you're not allowed to do it. Does anyone, ever, anyone else see kind of the paradox there? Doesn't yeah. seem to quite work. And in fact, if you went to a country, let's say North Korea, yeah. where this kind of thing would actually, you had to stand, like you yeah. were forced to stand, yeah. would be a country like North Korea is what I'm trying to yeah. say. In North Korea, it was reported in the last 24 hours that Kim Jong-un put to death one of his ministers for falling asleep in, his, in a meeting. Yeah. So in other words, you, you, a country that you have to stand up for your flag at yeah. all times without question yeah. is a place like North Korea. Yeah. But America is reacting because they have a cult-like status around their flag for someone who hasn't stood up for the flag. It's just, it's, it's boggling. Well, it amazes me. I mean, I've been to the States a couple of times, and what, what really scares me is when you go from place to place to place, everybody's got flags outside their place. I mean, it's, a, it's the stars and stripes forever. And I was in the US in 2001 during the terrorist attacks, and it was just got so scary with people driving around in utes with guns on, just, just wanting to look for for someone to shoot, basically, and they're all waving the flag. It is, as I said, it is, I find it really strange, but then I'm not American, but there is a cult-like status. It's like a religion, right, yep. which is a form of cult, yep. about the flag. The flag, be proud of your flag, have it represent your country, but it's a flag. To be forced to stand for the flag, in fact, mm. did you know that actually in a list of federal statutes called the United States Code, it actually is a law that you stand for the flag. Actually, I want to read this to you. It's Q13 there, Tim. It says this, right? This is out of the, uh, the United States Code. Uh, Title 38, Section 171. During the rendition of the national anthem, when the flag is displayed, all present, except those in military uniform, should stand at attention, facing the flag with the right hand over the heart. Men not in uniform should remove their headdress, with their right hand and hold it to their left shoulder, the hand being over the heart. Persons in uniform should render the military salute at the first note of the anthem and retain this position until the last note. When the flag is not displayed, those present should face towards the music and act the same in the same manner uh, they would if the flag were displayed there. That's Now, it's not a law that they enforce with mm -hmm. fines and stuff, but that is a list, that is part of a federal statute mm -hmm. that says, now does that, if I, if I, if you didn't know that was America, would that not sound like North Korea? Well, yeah, North Korea. Like, honestly, or, wouldn't it? It would. Well, some totalitarian state, yeah, that's amazing.
Yeah, it is. I never knew that. Yeah, so there you go. So this conversation will go on. Look, this is what it is for the Americans. Yeah. I don't mean to tell you how to run your country, yeah. but if you have a land where people have the right to free speech and you uphold that, and a, a land where people have the right to free expression yeah. and you uphold that, then you cannot criticise this man for sitting down during the national anthem or when the flag is presented. You can't have your cake and eat it too in this situation. Absolutely not. I agree personally.